What's going on YouTube today? We're going to be looking at the all new Mercedes EQS. We're going to look at the three different versions, the 450, the 580, and the AMG trims. We're going to break down all their specifications, look at batteries, look at their performance in the zero to 60 and quarter mile. Let's hop in. On your screen here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the three different trims. On the far left, we have the EQS 450 plus. In the middle, we have the 580. And on the far right, we have the AMG version. Let's start with the base model, the 450 plus. This car has a single motor in the rear, so it's rear wheel drive. It makes 329 horsepower and 419 foot pounds of torque. It weighs about 5,600 pounds and it has a drag coefficient of 0.2, which is incredibly low. This car has a battery pack size of 107.8 kilowatt hours, and that's giving it a projected range of 350 miles. Moving on to the EQS 580, this is gonna add a motor up front, so it now becomes all wheel drive. Combined output is 516 horsepower and 631 foot pounds of torque. Curb weight is going to jump up because of the front motor addition. It comes up to 5,822 pounds. Projected range is lower than the rear wheel drive version because of that added weight. So range is coming in at about 340 miles. And the most exciting version, the AMG trim, is going to have a combined output of about 750 horsepower and 750 foot-pounds of torque. It's a really similar setup to the 580 with the same motor in the front and rear. The curb weight comes up due to added aero, which is also affecting the coefficient of drag. And the wheels and tires are going to be bigger at 22 inches, which will also contribute to that added weight. All of these cars share the same battery pack, and we're seeing ranges from high 200s to mid 300s. Now we know all the specs of the different trims let's hop over to the drag strip and see exactly how fast these cars are so up first we have the 450 plus against the 580 so the rear wheel drive version against the all-wheel drive version let's see how they do head-to-head -head in a quarter mile drag race from a dig so on top we have the 450 and on bottom we have the 580 and we can see there's a really hard launch out of the 580 it gets 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds with one foot rollout subtracted and 0 to 60 is coming in at 5.6 seconds for the 450 plus Quarter mile for the 450 is coming in at 14.2 and quarter mile for the 580 is coming in at 12.2 seconds. I've replaced the 450 with the AMG. So now we have a race with the 580 and the AMG trims. We have the 580 on top and the AMG on bottom. Let's see just how fast this AMG is. It should be pretty quick. It's a little bit faster off the line. We get zero to 60 and 3.16 with that one foot rollout subtracted. Keep that in mind. And through the quarter, it's gonna keep pulling and we see 11.24 at 125 miles an hour. I'll show all of the specs side by side again real quick if you want to pause the video with the performance data included. But now we're going to take a quick look at the battery specifications of the EQS and we're going to compare it to some competitors. Let's take a look. I've taken data of the EQS, the Lucid Air, and the Tesla Model S from the EPA.gov website and I've laid it out all on your screen here. On the left we have the size of their battery pack in kilowatt hours as well as their estimated range. And on the right we have the specific energy of their battery pack which is basically the energy density or how much energy you can fit per unit mass and then next to the specific energy is the actual weight of the battery pack which i just calculated by hand dividing the specific energy into the battery pack size you can see how much tesla currently leads the field in packing in energy storage per unit mass and that's huge because it's going to bring up efficiency of the car in overall range and that's why you see the model s having the smallest battery pack of the three cars I hope you learned something from this video and I hope this laid out the whole EQS landscape and all of their trims. It's a really cool car from Mercedes. I'm happy they're entering this segment of the market. It'll be cool to see some competition for Lucid and Tesla. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.